Good morning, everybody. This is uh, November 29th, 2012. Today we're going to talk about the Sundance 2 uh, pollen trap. It's a bottom mount pollen trap, goes right above your screen bottom board. Uh, this will be the top of your pollen trap, the screen portion of the pollen trap always points down. Uh, you'll notice up front here, this is the front, and there's an eye bolt over here that uh, gives you the ability to put it in bypass mode or collection mode. You'll also notice that there are uh, drone bypass screens that have been put in here too. So if there's ever an issue, a drone gets so big that he can't fit through the pollen trap itself, he can go through the bypass cones to get out. Okay, um, the other thing is the tray. This tray will hold about five pounds of raw pollen. Um, you need to check your uh, pollen trap probably twice a day. It's a good thing. Uh, you don't want pollen sitting out um, all day long or two days long uh, you'll end up with a lot of pests in there ants uh, high beetles uh, larva it, it, it'll just be really nasty anyway getting back to this we're going to show you how this fits on to the um, screen bottom board there is a version that actually works on the top of the hive uh, it's made by Sundance and uh, it's a top mount. Um, I believe Rossman has it. There may be a couple other vendors that have it. Um, here locally in Lorain County, Ohio, um, you can go to Queen Wright Colonies and um, they'll be able to help you out. They supply just about anything and everything you need. Queens, uh, packages of bees, um, all sorts of equipment, uh, expertise, knowledge, uh, really great people. Anyway, so here's how it'll look as, as being on your screen bottom board. Now, I recommend this not be placed on a new hive. Um, the recommendation is the hive needs to be at least a year old. They need to be established. Uh, if you start doing things like this the first year, uh, you're going to run the risk of actually just having them abscond and leave or die. Uh, they'll get sick and it won't be good. So anyway, now that we've got this here, I want to actually put, uh, you know, let me get some equipment down here, let me show them on ahead. Uh, Anyway, let's put a um, hive body on top of this, a deep, and you can see how it fits. You're going to line it up in the back. It's going to overhang in the front just a little bit. Um, that's just the way they're made. Um, and you're going to notice right now, I don't have this adjusted the right way. It's in bypass mode. Means that if there was a lid on this, and I can put a lid on this so you at least have an idea of uh, what's going on. Okay, so here's your, uh, your setup in your apiary. It's in bypass mode. Now, I am going to warn you that if you are running a pollen trap and you have an inner cover that's notched for top entrance and exit, you're going to want to block those. You can use screen or whatever you want. And um, let's see if you can actually see where I'm talking. All right, I'm going to pan up so you can take a look at this. And you can see the notch right here. 
There may be one in the front, one in the rear. That will need to be blocked. So, okay, let's go back to the um, Sundance 2. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on this so I'm not fooling with it or tripping over it. Okay, so now you'll notice that this is in bypass mode. The bees can have free access to the inside of the hive. They can get to all the frames without issue. Now, when you're running this on a colony, one month out of every two months, or let me start over, you're going to run the pollen trap for two weeks, and then you're going to give them a month break like this, and then you can run it another two weeks and give them another month break. So you're going to alternate back and forth and you need to keep track of this on a calendar or something to remind you not to leave this in collection mode. Collection mode is when this front board is all the way up. When it's all the way up the bees have to go through the pollen collector. Now, they're going through the pollen collector. Kind of makes them a little grumpy because you're changing things on them. You're only collecting for two weeks and then you're letting them have a month off. Little transitional period there, they will get grumpy. Just have to remind you. Remember to collect your pollen daily, maybe twice daily, maybe three times daily, depending on how much they're bringing in. I can't express this enough. You need to keep this clean. If you leave this on all winter, I expect spring rolls around and it gets warm, you need to tear this all the way down. You need to double check this, make sure that there's no junk, dead bees, or anything piled up in there that'll block off the entrance and exit. If that happens, and you put this in collection mode and the bees can't get in or out, more than likely you're gonna kill off the hive and it's not a good thing. So just remember, this is a Sundance 2 pollen trap. Roughly, I think it's $62 or $68. May have gone up a little bit more, I don't know. Um, they do make one that is top mounted but if you ever have to get into the hive and to do an inspection, that means that has to come off and be set off to the side uh, where you can actually leave the Sundance 2 bottom collector on and it'll stay there until you need to actually do a tear down and clean. Uh, you can leave this on year round. You just can't keep it in collection mode all the time. So, like I said, you collect for two weeks, give them a month break, let them collect all they need, go back and collect for two weeks, and then give them another month to recoup. So, with that being said, I think I've gone over most of this. If you've got any questions on it, I'll put some links up on the, uh, the video so that you know, if you need to ask any questions or uh, you want notes on queen right colonies or uh, any of that, I'll just put those up there and you can contact me direct. Thank you and uh, have a happy winter.